Hello, Eric with the Hobby Farm Guys here, back with another breed spotlight. Today, I'm revisiting a breed we did a couple years ago. The most popular dairy goat breed in the US, the Nubian, isn't the best performer when it comes to production. But while Swiss dairy goats produce more milk, the Nubian produces a milk particularly rich in butterfat, making it more flavorful and ideal for cheese making. We'll learn all about the Nubian right after the intro. Which, by the way, is a great time to click those like and subscribe buttons, so thank you very much. Often referred to simply as Nubians in the U.S., Anglo-Nubian goats are known across the world and are the most popular dairy goat breed in the U.S. The breed had its beginnings in England in the late 1800s when crossing the local British milk goat with bucks of African, Middle Eastern, and Indian origin became popular. Trading ships returning from distant foreign ports would bring aboard goats to provide milk and meat for the journey home. Upon reaching England, the remaining goats would be offloaded and sold to locals. Regardless of where they actually originated, these goats were often referred to as Nubians. The term Nubian was first coined in France and was defined as the area along the Nile from Egypt to Sudan. Between 1850 and 1875, Many goats of Nubian type arrived in England from Africa, the Middle East, and India. Starting around 1880, the crossbred goats in England began to be referred to as Anglo-Nubians. Anglo of English origin and Nubian also influenced by these imported Nubian type goats. As the exotic look became popular, Sam Woodowis set up a breeding program to produce a registered herd. He started with a Janapari buck, an Indian goat breed used for both meat and milk. They're tall, rangy, slender, and typically horned. Then he imported a Zarabi, a tall Egyptian milk goat with a protruding lower jaw, as well as a Chitral, a thicker, heavy boned goat from India, and later a hornless buck of Nubian type from Paris Zoo. He crossed these bucks with native milk goats and selected for quality and consistency in the offspring. The breed was recognized in 1896, and the first official herd book was published in 1910. The first Anglo-Nubian goats hit the shores of the United States in 1896, but the breed wasn't established in America until later. A California breeder, J.R. Gregg, imported two bucks and three does, and these animals are the ancestors of most purebred Anglo-Nubian goats in the United States today. Between 1909 and in 1918, Anglo was dropped from the name in America, and 40 animals were registered as purebred Nubians in the United States. The Anglo-Nubian is a large goat, characterized by long legs, long, wide, drooping ears, large, almond-shaped eyes, a wide forehead, a convex Roman nose, and a short, glossy coat. The head is carried high and may be pulled or have small, downward, curved horns. In nannies, the coat is short and smooth. In billies, it's somewhat rougher and longer. The coat comes in a wide range of colors and may appear as a solid color or in various brindled, marbled, or mottled patterns. Bucks stand an average 36 inches at the withers and tip the scales between 175 to 300 pounds. Does are smaller, reaching an average height of 32 inches at the withers and weighing 135 to 240 pounds. While the Anglo-Nubian is an all-purpose goat used for meat, milk, and hide production, it's typically classified and thought of as a dairy breed. And with Nubians, it's quality over quantity. Most Swiss breeds provide more milk, but the Nubian produces a milk of higher butterfat content, producing on average 6.5 pounds of milk per day. Nubian does produce milk with a butterfat content of nearly 5%, giving the milk a richer flavor and making it prized for cheese production. With protein levels averaging about 3.5%, Nubian milk has high levels of the alpha S1 casein, an important protein in cheese making, and a huge goat milk benefit. Another benefit to Nubians is their long breeding season, making it possible to produce milk year-round. They typically birth twins or triplets. Due to their Middle Eastern heritage, these goats can live in very hot climates. While heat isn't an issue, they don't cope well with the humidity and this is a breed that has a reputation of hating rain. Friendly, these animals enjoy the company of herd mates and their keepers. They'll often nuzzle and brush up against you to display affection, but that can also be a negative. When they're craving attention and not getting it, they'll complain about it loudly and incessantly. 
Both Steve and I have kept Nubians and can attest to the noise level, and it's annoying. Sometimes described as stubborn, these goats are intelligent. They simply know what they want and what they don't want. And if they're getting what they want, expect them to be easy to manage and loving. But if they aren't getting what they want, expect them to complain, often and loudly. But they are friendly, calm, good-looking breed that produces a flavorful milk. Oh, and baby Nubian kids are some of the cutest animals on the planet. That's the Anglo Nubian goat. If you have experience with this breed, share your thoughts below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and happy hobby farming.